Hi everybody, this is Christy with Guidepost to Wellness and thank you for joining me. Today I wanted to talk about five simple, but not necessarily easy, ways to reduce holiday stress. They may not be easy for you, but there is something to understand that if we do the work to recognize that stress over the holidays is a choice, that's the first step towards making these simple ways a little bit easier. So for those of you that are new to the channel, this is a channel that's designed to talk about anything and everything that has to do with wellness, such as stress and holiday stress. And it's about incorporating positive habits into your life, um, ergo the better choices, better health, and better overall life. So today I wanted to talk about holiday stress. And I know there's a lot of lists out there, all these different ways, and I'm not a big list person, but I really think that if we try to look at ways to reduce holiday stress, um, I think that this short list that I've come up with, that I've used with myself and used with clients, I think there's probably something on there for everybody. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is really all about simplifying. And there, there are a lot of things going on in this year of 2020 that may be making things more simple for you already or more complicated. But when in doubt, any way that you can simplify things, that's going to reduce the self-imposed stress. Some things that you can do are simplify the plans um, and travel and holiday gatherings that may be already simplified somewhat for you. But even your budget and your gift ideas, uh, maybe you can find a way to simplify the gift ideas. And you know your family's best. It could be gift cards. It could be making gifts. It could be the same type of gift for everyone. Um, given the current situation, there's a lot of opportunity for maybe eating gift cards, uh, Uber Eats, or different things of that nature that would be really beneficial, especially if you're not able to visit your family. And, and any of the things that you have done a little bit of reflection on in the past and have identified that this is a stress point for you. And again, it's a self-imposed stress point for most of us. Um, I've talked about this in some other videos and I'll put that down below, some links to those about really in the modern day and age, the majority of our stresses are self-imposed, yet they have the same physiological effects on us, which can be really dangerous to our overall health. That's why you'll find I talk about them a lot on this channel. So back to the list. Item number two on the list is uh, something I've talked about before, especially in my own life, is identifying the things that you can control and the things that you can't control. So for example, if you live in a state where there's a limitation on travel or family gatherings or things of that nature are just not going to um, be possible to make your holiday this year the same as in the past, then just recognize that that's something that's outside of your control. So what are the things that you can control? So one of the things that you can control is, is your outlook and your attitude on things and looking to find a positive action related step for that. So for example, I heard a story from someone about their grandmother was very uh, concerned about having guests in the house and normally Thanksgiving they had uh, all the family over. So something that you could do in that situation is maybe have a holiday meal delivered um, to the family member that is concerned. Uh, setting up web calls, um, doing food deliveries, um, maybe do some type of monthly food delivery or something of that nature so that they know that you're thinking about them and maybe not even just during the holidays. Uh, so those are some of the things that you can control in a situation that has outside control on your life. Um, one thing that you really do have control over is your schedule and both what you're putting into your schedule that may be additional for folks that have a health condition or autoimmune disease that, that may be causing you to drain yourself and be more tired and, and possibly have a flare, or to um, just remembering to maintain your schedule and maintain the habits, the good habits that you already have. And I have a lot of different videos about that, how to prevent holiday overeating and, and many things of that nature. So just Again, step number two is remember the things that you can control. Don't focus on the things that you can't. 
You can't, you can't control somebody else's mood and attitude, but perhaps you can provide something that might give them some holiday cheer or remind them to be grateful or remind them how much they're loved, okay? So then that leads me right into number four, which is find ways to be grateful for everything that you have, which takes the focus of the things that you don't have, which again could be some of those things that are outside your control, the ability to travel or be with loved ones or financial restrictions that are going on this year. So sitting in this very room, I can find so many things to be grateful for, but it is a practice. And sometimes we save that gratitude for just one day. Um, I've even done a blog post about making every day a holiday so that we keep those positive vibes and, and feelings going on all the time. So that can be something that you can do. But just refocus and reframe for the things that you do have to take, uh, take back that control over your attitude and that positivity and, again, have those positive impacts on you mentally and emotionally by being grateful. And then the last one is kind of all-encompassing, but it's about being present. Uh, being present in this current moment, don't compare or bring up past situations, and that, could, that can involve uh, relationship challenges with family members or anything like that. It also takes away that comparison. Well, you know, last Christmas we did this and, and two years ago we did this and this year I can't. And, and it just takes away from that and it refocuses a, us on right now and enjoying and remembering what's going on right now. And the same thing goes with the future. There's a lot of uncertainty going on in the world right now. I've, I've actually taken a little bit of time off from making videos to make sure that I was centered and my emotional energy was focused on supporting other people out there on, on the channel and anybody that watches this. And that's because it's very easy to get concerned about the future. But again, that's not something that I can directly control. Uh, we are horrible at predicting the future. It is ingrained in us to try to worry and things of that nature. So I've been doing some work myself on that. But that's that's something that will help reduce your self-imposed stress uh, is to remain right here. Um, do something fun to keep your focus on the day. Like you can see my goofy little um, holiday sweater that I like. I, I like to get these at Walmart every year. It's become a little bit of a tradition in honor of my mom. So this one has dogs all over it. I love it. So that's, that's step number four is stay present. And if you're having challenges staying present in the moment, then go back and revisit step number two of identifying what you can control and what you can't. And step number three and reminding yourself to be grateful for what you have. And then the last one is just to remember to breathe. Be aware if you are feeling your anxiety rise and, and you're feeling yourself giving in to those stressors that you're allowing to stress yourself and that are having those physiological effects on yourself, then remember to just step away, stop, and breathe. Because breathing triggers that vagus nerve and that helps us calm down. It helps lower our heart rate. It helps us get us thinking clearly again, which helps us reframe, and that allows us to help repeat steps one through four. So again, the purpose of today's video was to hopefully provide some tips on ways to, to take control of your holiday stress and, and have a more peaceful holiday, even given the craziness that's going on in the year 2020, but holidays can always be a little bit crazy. So I would, I would encourage all of you to find the things that you find challenging. Find those areas that make you feel a sense of anxiety and identify ways that maybe you can look at the five tools above and use those tools in those situations. And then another thing that you can always do, uh, mindfulness, daily mindfulness is an amazing tool that is always helpful. And there are many great tools to use for that. I've been using Zen 12 uh, recently. Sometimes I ebb and flow with how often I use it because I'm doing other mindfulness activities too. But find a, a daily recommended um, mindfulness activity that really helps with stress reduction and resiliency. So check out some of the other links that I have below on other ways to get help and consider the gift of maybe a healthy coaching plan for yourself or someone in your family. Check out the links below.
Take care and have an awesome holiday season.